briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1941, the District Court of Appeal of the State of California heard the case of Horseman v. Maiden, focusing on the admissibility of statements made by a property donor to determine the intent of a gift, even if the other party was not present or aware of those statements. The case centered around a dispute between the executors of Emil Hayden's will and his widow over the ownership of real and personal property. The plaintiffs argued that the property was community property shared by both Mr. and Mrs. Maiden, while the defendant claimed that certain transfers made the property her separate possession. The Maidens had originally acquired the property as community assets during their marriage and held joint accounts for funds and securities. However, Mrs. Maiden removed funds and securities from these accounts after domestic issues arose, eventually obtaining a deed to their home. The trial court dismissed the case and excluded evidence of Mr. Maiden's declarations regarding his intentions for the property. On appeal, the court overturned the trial court's decision and clarified the admissibility of evidence in this case. It held that declarations made by the donor could be used as evidence of intention and that proof of an oral agreement was not necessary to establish the property as community property. This decision applied only to the legal aspects of the case, not to the actual events that took place. The judgment reversal highlighted the importance of considering the donor's intent when determining the nature of property ownership, emphasizing that statements made by the donor, even when not in the presence of the other party, carry weight in legal proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.